hello everyone welcome to my channel praying that your week is going well or your day is going well knowing that we're in the middle of it <laughs> or one more day away from the weekend yay um i pray that your week is going well and that your family is well and as always i'd like to come in the middle of the week and just leave you guys with a word of encouragement and um here we are <laughs> Um, whether you're still at work or whether you're at home or whether you're just tackling the homework or the schoolwork remote with the kids like we are here <laughs> praying your strength in the Lord because that's hard <laughs> so today I just wanted to leave you with a word of encouragement and that's basically fine before we start Lord increase in me as I decrease on my own ways Holy Spirit let it be your voice that being heard and not mine take complete control and that I pray that whoever get a chance to um, view this channel or to watch this video that you will um, be it will be a blessing unto them and that you will show up like never before so in Jesus name and when you do get a chance to watch any of our video go ahead and click like or subscribe and let us know um, what you think and uh, leave I don't know leave comments <laughs> We love to know what you're thinking. We love to know what's going on with, with you. And I know um, this is really new for me, you know, YouTube videos and whatnot. So let me know what I can do different or what I can add to make sure that um, it will be more of a success in many ways. But thank you for all the time that you guys have subscribed. For every subscriber, thank you so much for all the time that you press like. Thank you. Um, for the time that you've shared a video, whether it's through Instagram or Facebook or maybe on your own YouTube channel, we thank you and we're grateful and we bless God for you. So today, um, the, our word of encouragement is going to be found in the book of Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 15. And I'm going to read from the NLT, which is the New Living Translation. And it said, this is why he is the one who meditate." A new covenant between God and people so that all who are called can receive the eternal inheritance God has promised and when they speak of he it implementing Jesus it's saying this is why Jesus is the one who meditate a new covenant between God and people so that all who are called can receive the eternal inheritance god has promised them and of course today if we were to put any type of title or name to this it would be called the my covenant in god my covenant in god my covenant in god your covenant in god your relatives covenant in god and your children relative in god for christ died to set them free from the penalty of sins they had committed under the first commandment. That first commandment, of course, with was with Moses. That first commandment when he, um, excuse me, that first commandment, of course, when he gave Moses the first ten commandment. And the first commandment that was made, if I could correct myself, was with through Adam and Eve. Through Adam and Eve, God has promised. Through Moses, God has promised. Now again, through Jesus Christ, he has promised. So I have a bigger teaching on this later on the week. Um, stay tuned for that <laughs> on Sundays, preferably. Okay, so thank you, Jesus, for bridging the gap between us and sin through the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross in our lives. Now that Jesus was crucified, died, and rose again, we has we has Gentiles, meaning to not be born in a Jewish or Jew family, I should say, we as Gentile are back in covenant with God the Father. Thank you, Jesus, for that. That's our covenant in Waymaker into getting our covenant back with God the Father. Jesus is the way, the only way, the truth, and no one can come to God but through Jesus Christ. Except you go through Jesus Christ, except you have accepted him as your personal Savior and believed that he is the Son of God, and that Jesus did die on a cross, and that he did rose on the third day, and as of now he is sitting in heaven at the right hand of God, the Father, you cannot get these covenant, these promises, promise of long life, promise of you inheriting, you inheriting uh, uh, your ticket to heaven, promise of your family being safe, so much more. Like I said, we have a longer teaching on this. 
promise you, <laughs> you'll get it more. Um, so as you go and prepare, as Jesus went and prepared a place for us in heaven, the Bible said he will come back again. That is awesome thing. That is awesome. That is a beautiful thing for us. How awesome is that? How awesome that day will be when Jesus actually come back because he had prepared a place for us because he kept his promise because we have kept in covenant with him. And then we have a sure thing that his promise over our life is a sure promise and his word is a word of prophecy. So every time you open your Bible, those are promises with God. And every time God speak to you, that's covenant that he has built between you and him. Because you know why? Because in the book of Proverbs, it said, Proverbs 23, verse 19, it said, God is not like a man that he cannot lie, that he should lie. And he is not a son of man that he has to repent concerning any words that he is spoken over your life. So when you think of your life thinking, hey, I have a sure word of prophecy, I have a word of promise from God, and that is it. So I will stay in my covenant. I will be in covenant. I will keep my covenant. So that way I don't lose my words i don't lose my promises that he has spoken over us praying that this will help you out will encourage you and as you continue staying safe indoor or if you're going to work we plead the blood of jesus over you like myself still going to work praying that god will continue to cover you and your family and um and i just wanted to also pray for the youth and i know that you know not going to prom and homecoming um, but the God that we serve is greater and the vision, the plan that he has for our youth, our graduates, class of 2020, it's bigger than they can ever imagine. And I do pray that the mind of God, the mindset of God will overtake them, will give them new height, new visions for the doctors, for the teachers, for the apostle, for the prophetess, for the um, president, for the next commissioner, for the next mayor, for the next um, school counselor, for the next, um, oh gosh, you name it, entrepreneurship. I pray that God will continue giving you guys insight and foresight and knowledge and understanding of who he is over your life. Until next time, pray and I just bless you in Jesus' name. Of you, you guys have a blessed one. Bye-bye.